What happened to you? Uh, I think I've... I think I've bitten off more than I can chew. <sighs> not exactly the crack of dawn I was out to see. I think you might need new trackies. Oh, not according to Abby's budget. I'm gonna get buried in these bad boys. Bad boys is right. I'll get another job. In the meantime, you're gonna see a whole lot more of me. I think I've seen enough. Still in? Want a lot more than Kane ever did. <laughs> you promised you'd contact my folders before school went back. I'm sorry, darling, but they set my exam for the first day of school. I know. Study, study, study. <laughs> Express. From Glasgow. From Kane? Yeah, and Stella and the kids. Can I open it? Sure. Shortbreads. There's a card. Yeah. Alex's mum isn't great. Oh, dear. When are they coming back? Well, they might not be chills. But I miss them. Yeah, I miss them too. You're an honorary girl, Dad. Thanks, Pop. And... Thank you, Georgia, for sleeping all night, finally. Oh, careful, Soph. <laughs> Only a week to go. I never thought I'd say this. I really enjoyed staying home with the girls. You don't have to go back to work. I've got a meeting with Joshua today, and uh, I don't want to jinx it, but I've got a good feeling. Anything to justify these feelings? Well, my sources tell me I'm being rewarded for my success with the Dentures Galore account. Promote it. You deserve it, baby. It's all about being the complete package. Yes, it is. Come on, it's not that scary. The boys were nervous before their first day. Look at them now. But they can play with each other. You remember what Miss Luby said? If I'm lonely, wait under the friendship tree. That's right. And then the other kids will ask you to join in. What if they don't? If they don't. And they miss out on playing with the coolest and grooviest and smartest girl in school. Welcome back to our parents and students. And I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to our new preps. <laughs> the first day of school is an exciting milestone. Filled with new and exciting opportunities to thrive and learn and make special new friends. Better hit you harder, harder than Angie. Week. Last chicken leaving the coop comes around quicker than you think. Cherish those sparkles and tiaras. Well, at least now I can focus on my business. Maybe do some dating. Quiet up the back. Our preps aren't the only newbies today. I'd like to introduce Nepean South specialist music teacher, Mr. Nick Gazeki. Please make him welcome. Thank you. Welcome. 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 Oh, Kane, we would be over there in a heartbeat if we could. <laughs> yeah, we'll have a champagne for you. Okay. Well, big kiss to all the family. And a big kiss on the lips of baby Reuben. Yeah, okay. Of course. Lewis absolutely wants to speak to you. He's right here. Kane, how's the weather? I can't believe I married a doctor. Mm. Did we get free flight upgrades? I haven't officially passed yet. You better. All that non-stop study stuffed up my domestic routine. Not to mention that degenerate next door. What's a degenerate? <laughs> yeah, Lewis, what's a degenerate? It's a person with no morals. Nick's got morals. Yeah. yeah. Dad's just jealous. As if. 
Congratulations, Dr. Oh, Crab. You did it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. By the skin of my teeth. Actually, by the skin of my patient's teeth. He had a rare gum disease. <laughs> Wait for us at the crossing. How is it being out of the doghouse? That's good, mate. It's real good. Are you okay being put down? What? Well, you don't think Rachel was giving you a massive hint when she said all men are man children? And too soft to do initiation and go to war like her dad did and become men at Tobruk and build their own boat? She wasn't talking to me. Well, she wasn't talking to me. Uh, you mentioned Pilates. That's not soft. Activate massage. Oh, I wonder if they do Hawaiian. Isn't that a pizza? A massage. I'm, mm. uh, I'm partial to a loamy loamy. Rachel's wrong. We've been initiated. What about your first car? It's a rite of passage. I don't think going to a car yard with your old man exactly ranks alongside from Mel. First car crash? Never crashed. Because you drive like Miss Daisy. Miss Daisy had a driver. Raising a kid, that is undeniably a rite of passage. Yeah, Rachel's got a point. Don't know what my pop would say if he saw me doing this weekend warrior crap. Careful. This weekend warrior crap is my livelihood. I want to do something useful, like join the Army Reserve. I'm a pacifist. Oh, yeah, you would be. My dad did the Kokoda when I was a kid. So proud of him. Love to give that a go. Sounds good. In theory. Yeah, you'd have to try him. I'm gonna tag along with those guys. Righto. We could maybe do the Kokoda. The charity or something. Yeah, I don't know. I'll get back to you. Yeah, did I? For women, the appeal of lycra leggings is holding everything in. Whereas a man wants to know what he's wearing is right for the job. Why do men wear overalls? Um, because they have pockets? Because they're a license to be dirty. Uh, dirty, sloppy and useful. We've been wrong. How so? Uh, we've been thinking the lattes and the CrossFit lifestyle is the way to position muscles. But if we position it as workwear, muscles work hard for you. Brilliant. Something strong that prevents chafing. It keeps you warm and wicks away moisture. Like something you could wear on Kokoda. Kokoda, yes. Where did that come from? Plucked it out of the air. Well, let me know if I can help. No, I think we're sorted. Oh, cripes. What's up? Yeah, it's the... just need a good stretch. Mm. So that's the full special with essential oils and hot rocks? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, have you got any bigger blokes? You know, for the, for the, the leverage, they really, really get in there. You know what I'm saying? I sure do. Mm. 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 What is that? Is that lemongrass? Uh-huh. Is that over? Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, oh, that's great, yeah. Oh, I should do this more often. Get the wheels aligned. Enough for you, huh? Look, I pay for a rub down, not a touch up. I mean, do I have to spell it out to you? There was a person who, unsolicited by myself, began rubbing certain parts of my body in a manner which. Yeah, I'll hold. Yes. I am calling in regards to planning violations in relation to a so-called massage parlour next to a primary school. No, Susie, you don't have to prepare for a concerned citizens meeting. You've got a concerned citizen right here on the front. Let's get code up. What's the difference between the track and the trail? Uh, nothing. They're the, the same thing. Is it long? Sure is. Where is Kokoda? Oh, it's in Papua New Guinea. Is there an old Guinea? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's not. Hey, thanks for the dresses. They're a lifesaver. Oh, they were hand-me-downs. Yeah, I've been thinking a bit more about this Kokoda idea. Yeah? Well, between the flights and the guides, 
price is actually not too bad. What I do is this? Ah, uh, it's nothing really. Oh, sounds like it is. I'll fill you in at home. Ah, so it is something. Well, of course, Kokoda is a great idea, but there is a certain amount of danger involved. Well, it's not exactly uncharted territory, is it? Yeah. Well, I just thought you'd discuss it with me first. Oh, so it's not that you're upset because I'm going, it's that you weren't the first to know. Well, we are in a committed relationship now, aren't we? Yeah, of course. That's why I thought it'd be nice for you to tell me about the caesarean you want to have. So this is my Caesar versus your Kokoda? No, it's not. It's... A consult about how our baby's coming into the world would have been good. Well, when you put it like that. Look, we've both been single for a while. I think we need to reset our lines of communication. Well, I thought I had. I'm sharing my bathroom, aren't I? <laughs> I think Kokoda's a brilliant idea. Mm. Me too. Well, I'm just saying, if you were craving the touch of a man, then, you know, you could have let me know. How long is this going to go on? Oh, it's going to go on and on and on. Can't we just do two Ks? You reckon the Nasho's got to start out on two Ks? No. Oi. What are you guys doing? Get off that thing and get on board. Get on board what? Dakota's not going to walk itself, mate. <laughs> do it. <laughs> yes! Back, yeah. let's do it. Ricardo, let's go. Come on, boys. To the top of the hill and back again. Dakota's going to be tougher than this. Come on, Raph. Thought you were an elite athlete. Let's go, fellas. Speed it up. He's making you look soft. That's a year running. That's because I'm fit. Thanks for helping out with Rachel. You really took one for the team. How so? The bookshelf. I kept putting it off. Oh. Yeah. I found an agent for our Kokoda trip. I reckon we should lock it in. Yeah, about that. Hey, you are not piking out. You're not. What did we do all that training for? We're going to Kokoda. End of story. Yeah, yeah I just have to play it by ear. Good morning, parents. We have a huge week here, with all levels participating in Science Week. Yay! I hate Science Week. Abby will be in our element. Thank you so much. It, it really is a great cause. I, I really appreciate it. Hey. Uh, hey. Hey. Dakota, huh? Yeah. Uh, me and the guys are going. Oh, yeah. No, I read the blurb. Fundraising for the, the PN South's music program. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I want the kids to experience more cultural music. Maybe oh. bring in some guests. Yeah, I mean, I played the uh, sitar in India once. <laughs> oh, it was terrible, but it was fun. <laughs> I can't just leave my kids with some random for 10 days. But we leave for Kokoda next week. Yes, Kokoda next week. I get it. Yes. Ah, oh, it's a gentleman. Oh. <laughs> oh it's, it's just hey. such a shame you can't come to Kokoda, you know, but, well, kids have to come first, so... What? Aren't you going, Justin? No, no. His mother was booked, but uh, she's... She's had a turn. Her, um... Her gallbladder, it's, it's pretty bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. Gallbladder's awful, it's so painful. She's gonna be all right. Well, I hope she's got a good doctor who believes in medicinal marijuana. You know, I, I'd, I'd ask Rachel, but with the pregnancy and with Atticus and Abby, crazy bitch, just, oh, yeah. man. If, if you can't find anyone else, let me know. Well, he can't. No. I mean, he really, he really can't. I can't. I have a cat, Mr. Badger. Angie is mad about cats. <laughs> she is? Yeah, she yeah. loves cats. Look, it'll be a pleasure to look after the children. Oh! Really? Yeah, I mean. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. I never took her for a cat person. 
Yes. Yes. You all right? Yes, Mummy. I got the San Diego placement. No way! I can't believe it. Awesome. It's insane, right? Yeah. Oh, my God, it's fantastic. I'm so jealous. I mean, even if it is, you know, six weeks of blood and gore. (laughs) Don't tell me we've finally found something to wear to the school ball. Jenna just got the San Diego gig. (gasps) Well, well. Well, if the crabs aren't taking over the world... Oh, what did Lewis say? Well, I've only just found out. Well, how's Hubby going to cope now? He's king of the paper shufflers. Oh, well, he knows how important this placement is to me. We've got each other's backs. <laughs> Power couples. Wouldn't you love to have their problems? Who'd have thought peanut butter, peanut butter without the nuts, could taste so good? You should not be eating that. No, shush, I've got special pregnancy privileges. It's disgusting. Mm. This is going to be very hard to market. What, peanut butter? Not for everyone? I love it. I mean, it's like vegetarian sausages. You either eat sausages or you don't. Mm. Vegetages! (laughs) Hello, you. Funny. This peanut stuff was just delivered. There's a massive box in the car. I'll get it. You should try this out on the kids. I reckon they'll love it. No, they won't. Mm. I've got some good news. Mm. What? Luby wants me to go full-time at school and expand the music program. <sighs> Not good news? How is that good news for me? <laughs> well, a full-time contract means that I get to bring home more bacon and you don't have to work as hard. I make more in a couple of days than you make in a week. Cost of living's expensive. I'm gonna get Mark a hand. What's that? He's a very stop. special guest. Rafiq. No. Miss Luby. No. Miss Luby. What's wrong? You guys love Miss Luby. But we don't want to live with her. She'll make us learn all the time. Well, it's good for your resilience. I'm sick of that word. Let's try a new word. Excellent. Now, can you use it in a sentence? I am mad about everything. Well, that's a big call, Angie. My nana needs an operation. I'm sorry, is it serious? She's going to be okay. But now we might have to look after ourselves while Dad's at Kokoda. I'm pretty sure you won't have to fend for yourself. Maybe you could look after us. <laughs> oh, and well, well, let me see. My dad said he could pay 50 bucks an hour. Wow, that's a lot. It's a deal? Uh Uh-huh. Oh. (laughs) All right. Good job. Hi, Angie. Hi, Miss Luby. Hmm? (laughs) Looks like you've got a little admiration society going on. Yeah, I think I'm going to be looking after Angie and her brothers while Justin goes to Kokoda. Hmm. Is that right? Justin, I agreed to look after your children out of the goodness of my heart. And I really appreciate that, Miss Luby. Even at the expense of time with Mr Badger. I know how much you love that cat. And now I hear from Miss Dreyfus that you've also asked her to look after the children. Uh, Oh, no, I I, I don't know anything about that, It is simply ungracious. Do you understand me? Yes. So who's going to be looking after us? I don't know. We don't have any family around to help babysit. How was your lesson with Izzy today, baby? Good. Good? You like her, don't you? A lot. Yeah. Miss Luby told me Izzy said she's looking after your kids. Know anything about that? You asked her to look after you guys, didn't you? Am I in trouble with Miss Luby? No, you're in trouble with me. Sorry, Daddy. Oh, it feels so good when we're not the ones in trouble. Hey, it's Luby. Justin. Can I come in? I know you have more important stuff to do, but... Uh, what is it? I just want to talk to you about the childcare thing. There's been some cross wires. Crossed wires my armpit. <laughs> hey, you can still do it if you want to. You want me to? Yeah, why not? And the kids? Well, on second thoughts, I might just have... That's it. See... 
They see you as, as the boss of the school. No fun to be around. Well, I wouldn't really say that. You're a ton of fun. Said no one, ever. <laughs> I'm sure you'd appreciate I have other things to attend to. Of course. Absolutely. I'm sorry again. For Leave this, while you're ahead. Oh, 50 bucks an hour. <laughs> huh? Well, that's when Angie said that you would pay me to look after the kids while you're in Kokoda. Not that much, but yeah, I'd pay you something. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the thing is, I'm not sure if I should. Please. Please. I mean, I don't have anyone. I thought I had Miss Luby, but, you know, now the kids aren't so keen. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, and I think she knows how they feel. Oh, that's really bad. Mm-hmm. Well, look, I'm sorry, but I, I just don't want to get involved in Miss Luby politics. Of course. Thanks. Well, good luck. Yeah. Miss Luby? Oh. <laughs> yep. The Bainey children. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know Justin had asked you to look after them. Between you and me, I'm glad to be off the hook. Ten days with three children was always going to be a big ask for Mr Badger. Right. How much? No, that's, that's ridiculous. OK. I'll call someone else. Thanks. <sighs> Unbelievable. You looked stressed. Oh. Yeah, just made some inquiries about childcare. They want to charge me like 4K plus for 10 days. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's ridiculous. Oh, I know Miss Louie's happy to be off the hook. Something about a Mr. Badger. Oh, a cat. She calls her cat Mr.? Yeah. Really? The way she was talking, I thought she had an unusually formal relationship with her boyfriend. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's weird. Strange. The thing is, uh, you know, I don't feel comfortable leaving my kids with people I don't know. Yeah, naturally. So, what can I do to convince you? I mean... Maybe you could take me to the ball tonight. The ball? Yeah, I don't want to go on my own, and... I don't want to be dateless. You dateless? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'll take you to the ball. But we're not a thing. We're not a thing. No, we're not a thing. We're just helping, helping each, each other, other out. Cool. Okay. You want me to pick you up on my bike? Maybe not. Okay. Hey. Hey. I was thinking maybe you can use my car while I'm at Kokoda. Oh, thanks. Can you drive? Can I drive? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be fine, Justin. Your kids are so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, most of the time. Although Jacob can be competitive. Mm. Zach's a big warrior. Mm. Angie, she's... She's a schemer. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Well, I was gonna say dreamer, but she has been a bit cheeky lately. Yeah, she has. She has good taste. What can I say? Well, your kids aren't going to be any trouble, but uh, you, on the other hand. Me? Trouble, mm -hmm. please. Never. Oh, never. <laughs> <laughs> Help me with the leaves for the play. OK. San Diego. Well, don't get too exhausted at Kokoda. No chance. Well, please, I don't believe that. I've organised you a little surprise. A surprise? Mm, you'll see. Mm -hmm. All Gemma said was to look out for a yellow ribbon. Two hours in. Oi, hey, is that it? What do we do now? Alright. What was that? 
Hey! Anyone order a Kokoda pie? <laughs> <laughs> G'day, I'm Nick. G'day, mate. I've heard all about you. Oh. And Gemma organises. Yep, she told me to tie the ribbon to the tree and wait. Thought I might be of some use. Apparently things have been a bit rough. Ah, oh, we're all good now. Well, I've got some great trust exercises. We can try back at camp. Shut up, Kate.